Women in Headgear will show many innovations this season, according to the latest dictates of Paris, as seen here in one of the French capital's swanky salons. For one thing, the hats are to be molded to harmonize with the hairdress. Also, they're to be worn off the face and high on the forehead. Lines are being simplified, too. Yes, sir, the new chapeaux are very easy on the eye, all right, but they'll probably be pretty hard on Papa's pocketbook. Here's a one-man oil refining plant built by Harry Sipe, a filling station man of Holdenville. When he found his profits going into the red because of the depression and the cost of gasoline, he decided he'd refine his own gasoline. So he bought a couple of old boilers and picked up a lot of pipe and rigged up his own refinery. Sipe's sitting pretty now. He gets crude oil out of his ground, manufactures gasoline in his own plant, and thus, at minimum cost, gets all the gasoline he needs for his two filling stations. His backyard refinery can turn out 2,000 gallons of gas a day. Oh boy, maybe this isn't the biggest day in Primo Carnera's life. His father and a thousand and more of his countrymen hailed a conquering hero here on his arrival at Genoa on his first trip back to his native land after winning the heavyweight championship. He's all set for his fight in Rome with Paulino Uskidden, the bounding Basque. The Roman arena holds 48,000, and half of them will be black-shirt enthusiasts of Da Prime. Bravo, Canera. Look this way, please. There he is, the big fellow in back. Kansas City, Missouri. Here's a real philanthropist. Louis Kumanow, a clothing merchant, is giving away 500 overcoats from his stock to unemployed men of the city. And what a break it is for these poor fellows, with cold weather adding to their miseries. Of course, it's not exactly like being measured to order, but in these days and times, a coat is a coat. Walter Christie, who invented the Army's fast tank, has developed a new battle wagon. A two-man convertible combat car weighing two tons that can go 100 miles an hour. Zip! I'll say it can. Each wheel is mounted on individual springs. That's why it can travel over rough ground at such speed. And boy, how it takes the hills. What a car this would be for Sunday driving.